something off the terminal. Hey guys, we're back. Working on the test truck here. Checking all the fluids, wiring in from the uh, for the starter. So this will be for the battery. This one will be for the starter, which is right down there. I'll feed it on through. And when they come into the ear. We're gonna feed it across here, and then I'm gonna drill a hole and mount it right up there. So this little button here will be mounted there, and then we'll uh, get this truck going again. down there. The power cable's just hang, kind of hanging out. So I gotta crawl underneath this bloody thing. And then uh, conduit for from inside the cab is running down here. Goes all along here, all zip tied and beautified. All on this side. And then you can see it coming through here. And it runs up to the battery, which I have not connected. I won't do that till the end. You can see it all in here. here. Cleaned up that. Starter buttons now installed. So this one I'll just, I'm just going to leave the original engine start just in case the new uh, owner of this beast will uh, want to fix all that. So now we're just going to crawl underneath this thing and uh, hook everything up. Oh yeah, before I go, I'm going to make my own uh, 3 8 oh, it's tight. Battery terminal. This. So you can see there's a big difference there. Anyways.
bypass is connected. I'm gonna go through all the way through here, goes up into the truck, up into here, start it, we'll check that in a second. I went over here and I zip tied the heck out of everything. So we're gonna try to see what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, clutch in, start it, yep. Uh, do I use my clutch tool is what I'm asking myself. Nah. Alrighty. Keys on, you can see. Alrighty. There we go. She's alive. Alright, let her warm up. Take her for a tour. This one's an all-new light, as you can see. 
sell right there. So I'm getting around to replacing all the lights, making sure this thing is as road worthy as I can make it. So that all being said, guys, I have I still got more work to do on this, but it's all little things. But uh, if you're sounding better. I know what the exhaust problem is. I have the clamp for that, but uh, it's the downpipe from the turbo back, and the flange on that I believe is rotten off. I just might as well just replace the whole thing, but I'll let the guy know. Whoever wants to buy it, I'll talk to my boss about it. It's a couple hours worth of work to get in there, rip it out, and then bolt it all back up. I'm sure I can easily do within a couple hours, but it's all about how much money you want to throw at the beast. So I'm trying to keep the uh, trying to keep the maintenance up, but the price, the cost down of everything. So so far, I'm two days in, and she's better than she's been in a long time. So hopefully, we get her gone soon, get her to a new home, so that we can make room for more toys. I'm kidding. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following along with me for this journey of bringing an old beast back to life for a new lease on life for a new owner. Thank you guys.